announcement comes six months after Mosby's district was thrust into the national spotlight when riots broke out following the death of Freddie Gray. This afternoon, standing in West Baltimore, Mosby talked about the need to fight for a better Baltimore. It's official. Today, I ask you to stand with me. I am announcing my candidacy to run for the mayor of Baltimore City. Nick Mosby already has an office in City Hall. He was voted into City Council in 2011 by residents in the 7th District of West Baltimore. If elected mayor, he says change will come quickly. On day one, we'll demand that our police officers wear body cameras. Freddie Gray lived and died in Mosby's district. Mosby's wife is the city state's attorney. She charged six police officers in Gray's death. It provides the police an opportunity to truly explain what took place. And it provides the citizens transparency on every single stop. Mosby's announcement comes exactly six months after riots broke out in his district. I know that that does not define who we are or what we are or exactly where we're going. Mosby joins other high-profile candidates, State Senator Catherine Pugh, City Councilman Carl Stokes, and former Mayor Sheila Dixon, who we caught up with at the opening of her campaign headquarters Saturday. I only stay focused on what I can do in this campaign. City Councilman Brandon Scott raised a few eyebrows with the open letter to Baltimore he posted on his website. He writes, quote, the support you have given me and the belief that I can do and should do more shows that without a doubt you believe that I can lead Baltimore to being the best Baltimore we can be, end quote. When asked if he's joining the race Friday, Scott said, quote, my letter is a way for me to thank the citizens of Baltimore for their support and belief in me. In the coming weeks, I will unveil my plan for leadership that will be best for our city, end quote. Eight candidates have filed paperwork with the State Board of Elections. Stokes, Pugh, Dixon, and Mosby have not. The deadline to file is February 3rd. Live outside City Hall, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.